Good evening. Welcome to the evening service of Valley View Church of Christ. It's good to see everyone out. If you're visiting with us, and we know we got a lot of visitors, we want you to know that you're an honored guest and you're in for a treat tonight. The course is going to be performing after services tonight. Just have a few announcements and then I think Brother Mac has an announcement before we get started. Next Sunday after morning services, we'll honor our seven high school graduates and their families with a banquet and all members are invited. That'll be in the fellowship hall right after morning services. There'll be a diaper drop off next Sunday for Haley and Stephanie Montgomery. And tonight CRA will be conducting our service and after worship the CRA course will perform. And also uh, at the conclusion of our services, if you would, uh, there'll be a small break. Go pick up your children if they're in children's Bible hour and before the course starts their performance. Mac. Well, welcome everybody tonight. Good to have so many Crowley's Ridge Academy parents and grandparents here. Thanks for coming. Uh, we're really glad that you're here. We're certainly glad to have the chorus here. Mr. Chase Aikens leading the chorus and has been for how many years have you been? Several years. This is year four, so uh, good to have him and all the chorus with us. Um, just want to tell you a little bit about Crowley's Ridge Academy. I've, I'm, I myself have been there for this is the end of year 16 uh, as principal and teacher there, and it's been a great place for us and our family. And um, all three of our kids graduated there. And if you have any questions about it, I'd certainly invite you to um, look me up afterwards or any of the others. There's quite a few parents who are here and other graduates that are members at Valley View, and we'd love for you to uh, come see us. And if you have some thoughts about it, just think daily Bible classes, 45 minutes a day and chapel every day. It's really the center point uh, of the day for the kids and it's the foundation of uh, God's Word and uh, focus on Jesus every day. And you're certainly, uh, I would certainly invite you to, to uh, look into it if you have some interest that way. And um, we're very excited to have the chorus here tonight and some of the guys will be leading our services tonight. So, uh, see you right, thanks for coming tonight and I hope everybody enjoys and and I hope that you will feel free, if it's comfortable to you, to, to show your appreciation uh, as they're singing uh, with applause, if you're comfortable that way. And certainly we're glad to have you guys tonight. Thanks for coming. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this great day you've given us. Please be with the uh, people that are experiencing flooding right now and are in bad weather. And please be with people that are on the road, Lord. Thank you for your son down the cross, save from our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, we come before Thee now, at Thy feet we humbly bow. Oh, do not our suit disdain, shall we seek Thee, Lord, in vain? Shall we seek Thee, Lord, in vain? Lord, on Thee our souls depend, in compassion now descend. Fill our hearts with Thy rich grace, tune our lips to sing Thy praise. Tune our lips to sing Thy praise. Grant that all may seek and find Thee, a God supremely kind. Heal the sick, the captive free. Let us all rejoice in Thee. Let us all rejoice in Thee. <clears throat> 
We shall assemble on the mountain. We shall assemble at the throne with humble hearts unto his presence. We bring an offering of song, glory and honor and dominion unto the Lamb, unto the King. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We sing the song of the redeemed. We shall assemble on the mountain. We shall assemble at the throne with humble hearts unto his presence. We bring an offering of song, glory and honor and dominion unto the Lamb, unto the King. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We sing the song of the redeemed. Uh, <clears throat> my name is Lucas Lawrence. I'm a senior at CRA. Um, I'm happy to be here. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, they gave me this thing. I don't know. I feel like a rock star or whatever with this. <laughs> so, um, if you want, you can turn in your Bible to Psalms 15. Uh, I think probably over the past six months, maybe, uh, every Sunday morning, uh, during the Lord's Supper, this is the psalm that I read. It's written by David. It's five verses. I usually read it once or twice, and you think over six months I would have it memorized by now. I do not. Uh, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it to you uh, real quickly. O Lord, who shall, who shall sojourn in your tent? Who shall dwell on your holy hill? Who, he who walks blamelessly and does what is right and speaks truth in his heart, who does not slander with his tongue and does not evil to his uh, neighbor, nor takes up a reproach against his friend, whose eyes a vile person is despised, but who honors those who fear the Lord, who swears to his own hurt and does not change, who does not put out his money at an interest, nor does he take a bribe against the innocent, who does these things should never be moved. So David starts off with a question, and I, I like this question because it should be the one that we all should be asking. How do I stay with you forever? It's basically what he's asking. He says, how will I journey with you, sojourn, move with you in your tent? How will I be able to stay in your holy hill or on your holy hill with you forever? I think that's a pretty noble question. I think we should want to stay with God. So David, got, he gets that right. And he answers it like he already knows. So throughout this, this poem, he answers his own question. This is, this is the answer. Who walks blamelessly and does what is right and speaks truth in his heart? Okay. So that could have been it. Like you could have chopped the end of it off. Like he asked the question, how do you do it? This is how you do it. You become blameless. But he keeps going as if being blameless and doing what is right and speaking truth is not hard enough. You can't slander with your tongue and do evil to your neighbor. I think neighbor here is that kind of, that New Testament neighbor where we're like, anyone around us? In his eyes, of, who eyes a vile person is despised. I, I think we sometimes think, I know at least when we say all these sins or things that you do are bad and we, we try to make that distinction between us and 
and the rest of the world. I think it's okay to know that, yeah, we're different. And I don't know if I would use the word despise. I think all David is saying here is knowing where you stand and where other people stand. If you know where you stand in your faith, you know how to help people. I think that's what David is saying. That's how you become uh, able to move with God and stay with him, is you know where you stand with him and you know how to help people. You had to honor those who fear the Lord. Having honor for someone, respect for someone, people like us, people who fear the Lord, you know? There's that, that poetic, that the, the psalm goes, vile person despised, honor those who fear the Lord. Uh, stylistically, it's kind of like this and then this. And then he just offers some practical advice there at the end. All this has kind of been practical mixed with theological, then back to practical. The practical advice is don't put your money at interest and don't take a bribe against the innocent. Don't put your money at interest as in just don't be, you know, cruel. Uh, I think we should be people who share, people who give, and don't res- like expect to get something back. I think that deals with how like your relationships with people work. And it's just, that's just a kindness thing to not take a bribe against the innocent. That means like, don't let someone give you money or something for you to say something wrong about someone else. That seems common sense, but I don't know if we do that often. It seems like it happened enough in David's time for him to put it in this psalm. I think my favorite part in this, and I think for me it's probably the hardest thing to do, it says in verse four, the second half, it says, who swears to his own hurt and does not change. Who tells someone I'm gonna do it, it's not gonna be good for you, but you continue to do it. That's, that's what that means. It's not like, like I'm going to be hurt physically. It's like that's not going to be good for me. But you do it anyway. That's hard for me to do. I think it, all of these things are hard for you to do. Uh, that's why I don't know how, how you do these things. I, I don't know how you do all this so that you can stay with God. And I think, I think the reason why I don't know how is that I haven't lived enough. And I encourage people, young people like myself, to find people who have lived enough, who have lived long enough in the church, who have lived with God on this holy hill for enough time, and enter into like a mentor type relationship and ask them, how do you live blamelessly? Because I don't know if I could give you the answer just because I haven't lived long enough. I don't think I've lived blamelessly enough to be able to tell you. I think this is my favorite psalm because it gives practical advice. It tells you how to do things. It tells you what you need to do and then you look at the rest of the Bible to figure out how to do it. If you're feeling like maybe you're not walking blamelessly, that's okay, that happens. If you wanna do something about it, you should. You should want to and you should do something about it. We've designed our worship around this idea of this invitation and um, this invitation song. And if you have need, you can come forward. And that's what we're going to do right now. Um, I'll be praying for you on the side over here if you do need some help, if you want to come down. Uh, if you don't want to, talk to someone about it. I'll, I'll be praying. Grant's going to lead our singing. Thank you. Have you a heart that's weary, tending a load of care? Are you a soul that's seeking rest from the burden you bear? Do you know, my Jesus? Do you know, my friend? Have you heard he loves and that he will abide till the end? Who knows?
knows your disappointments who hear each time you cry who understands your heartaches who dries the tears from your eyes do you know Do you know, my friend? <clears throat> Have you heard he loves you? And then he will abide till the Before we sing our closing song, um, if you didn't have the chance to take the Lord's Supper this morning, you can go out into the foyer and there will be someone out there to direct you to where you need to go. All right. <clears throat> There's a call comes ringing o'er the restless wave. Send the light, send the light. There are souls to rescue, there are souls to save. Send the light, send the light, send the light, the blessed gospel light. Let it shine from shore to shore. Send the light, the blessed gospel light. Let it shine forevermore. Let us not grow weary in the work of love. Send the light, send the light. Let us gather jewels for a crown above. Send the light, send the light. Send the light, the blessed gospel light. Let it shine from shore to shore. Send the light, the blessed gospel light. Let it shine forevermore. Thank you for every blessing you've given us. We're thankful for these great lives you've given us, Lord. We ask that you help us to be the people you want us to be. We ask that you help us to be a light in a very dark world. Lord, we ask that you help us to bring others to you so that we all may can live in heaven with you one day. We're thankful for the gift of your son, Jesus, who came and died so that we have that hope of heaven. It's through his name we pray. Amen. Good. All right. You guys go ahead while I talk. Okay. Um, my name is Chase Akins. I am the um, high school music director at Curly's Ridge Academy, uh, and I do a lots of I do lots of other things as well. I'm full time um, youth and family mi uh, minister, uh, minister and worship minister at Hillcrest Church of Christ. Uh, and uh, and so I do that as well. Keeps me busy, keeps me on my toes, and I've got three kids, and so I'm not going to tell you about my life. I know you don't want to hear about my life, but um, a lot of you know who my dad is, Richard Aikens. Uh, he's been in this area for a very long time. I just was joking with him yesterday. I said, Dad, you realize you've been in ministry for 55 years? And he said, it's been a long time. <laughs> So, um, but, uh, but anyways, I'm sure some of you have run in, into my dad, and um, some of you are good friends with my dad, and I appreciate you all very much. Um, we're going to be singing songs. If you know these songs, sing along, please. If you don't, maybe you'll learn something. Uh, but most importantly, I tell people when... 
um, anytime it, if it's doing this or uh, anytime in the worship service anywhere uh, when you're singing songs think about what the words are saying um, God didn't just tell a writer to write these words for no reason at all there's a reason why these songs were written um, because even if it just affected one person, it still affected a soul, and that's what matters. And so, I, so I pray that these songs will affect you as it does me. Um, I joke sometimes. Uh, I get to a point in the year when I'm going, "Are we going to be done with singing these songs?" But I'm constantly reminded what the message of these songs are, um, and that's and that's the most important thing is to knowing that um, it helps with my faith and it helps me grow closer to God. Our first song is called Come Worship Christ the King.
One of the biggest things that we, we talk about uh, when we come together, we talk about Christ. We talk about the life that he lived and the fact that we want to be that, um, be that example. Uh, who wouldn't want to be that example? But sometimes we also forget what he went, uh, what he did for us. He went to the cross. It wasn't just he came to be an example, but he died for you and for me, for everyone else. And I don't know about you, but I tend to forget that. I tend to forget about the real purpose. That he loved me enough. You know the, the, the kid song that we sing, Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, because that is very true. How His love came down for us. And that's what this song is about. Love, come down. Your praises loud. I was lost. 
Uh, this next song is called Have Mercy. Um, how many of you in here have been in a tight spot and you didn't know how to get out of it, right? I think a lot of us in this room could raise our hand and we all have stories to tell. And that's what's so cool is because we're not the only ones that have been down a certain road because there's likely someone that has been down that same road and they're really close to you. They could even be your best friend. And sometimes um, we get in a situation where we don't know where else to turn to. Or we've messed up. And we say, God, have mercy on my soul. Forgive my unbelief. Forgive me. And we do that, we do that a lot. We, we strive to live a life that's according to what God has called us. The example that we, we just talked about in Jesus. But sometimes we have that prayer where we're maybe sitting in a room and we just have to pour it out. We just have to leave it in front of God and say, have mercy on me. So this song is called, Have Mercy.
Uh, these next three songs are performed. I have a, uh, another group, a smaller ensemble group, Horizon. Uh, and so they're going to be performing three pieces for you. And I hope uh, with solos from uh, Landon Brinkley and Luke Treese and some side solos too as well. Anyways, you get the idea. Uh, but this first song is called Do Not Fear. So listen to our heart, hear our 
spirit sing a song of praise that flows from those you have redeemed and we will use the words we know to tell you what an awesome God you are but words are not enough to tell you of our love so listen to our heart if words could fall like rain from these lips of mine and if I had a thousand years Lord I would still run out of time if you listen to our heart every beat will say thank you for the life thank you for the truth thank you for the way so listen to our heart hear our spirit sing a song of praise that flows from those you have redeemed and we will use the words we know to tell you what an awesome God you are but words are not enough to tell you of our love so listen to our heart so listen to our heart hear our spirit sing a song of praise that flows from those you have redeemed and we will use the words we know to tell you what an awesome God you are but words are not enough to tell you of our love so listen to our heart sweet forever and we only reach that shore by faith's decree one by one we'll gain the portals there to dwell with the immortals when they ring those golden bells for you and There's a land, There's a land beyond the river that we call, that we call the sweet forever. And we only, and we only reach that shore, reach that shore. Fates decree, fates decree, fates decree, fates decree. In that far, in that far, sweet forever. Just beyond, just beyond the shining river. Oh, when they reach. Um, 
These are our last two pieces. Uh, we have two traditional pieces that we do. And I know a lot of you in here know these two, these songs. Uh, My God and I and the Lord bless you and keep you. But one of the things that we do with this is we invite all former chorus members of CRA to come up and join us. Up here. <laughs> come on. This has been a tradition for a very long time. Um, and uh, so... Come on, keep coming. I wish I knew everyone because then I could start pointing you out because you're not coming up here, but that's okay. All right. And with it come and try. 
We're good. We're done. So whoever's, whatever we're doing next. <laughs> Quick question. On the course, people, is Chase ever still when he leads you, even in practice? I've never seen, I've never seen him in a tie, so I was like, who are you? That's usually sharp. And two pitch pipes. I don't understand any of that. I, I just want to answer. I, I want to I wanna just clarify something. My ribs are hurting because Melissa said he didn't mean for you to sing along <clears throat> like this the whole time. It was okay to sing with you, all right? <laughs> Told you. Where'd she go? She left. All right. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I just want to, if, if those who are seniors would stand, I know this is your last time to be here as part of the chorus, we especially want to applaud you. So let's, let's give them an applause as being seniors. Thank you. And I, we, we, we get to watch you guys kind of grow up, just even if we just see one concert a year or performance a year. And so it's kind of a neat thing. It's like seeing family go on. We're grateful that you came our way. Uh, let's, have, let's have a prayer. We'll dismiss and, and just come up here and make sure you let them know that you appreciate their abilities that were put to use for you. Let's pray together. Father, we are so thankful for this time to be here and to not only worship you, but to hear people sing. Very talented young people sing uh, things, truths that are so important to us. We were taught through words of songs and we were edified by them. And I pray that they'll ring through our heads for all this week and beyond as we hum truths, as we think about things that have been taught us. We're grateful for their parents. We're grateful for every person who's an influence upon them. And as they go away from here, especially those who are seniors, as they graduate, march with them through the rest of their lives, and especially through the next chapter. And, and Father, help us to be an encouragement to them. They're always their home area. And we are so grateful they came our way. Bless them. Provide them safety and protection and opportunity to be a blessing and a light for you. As we depart and leave for this week, I pray, Father, that you will bless this week and help us to return to worship wherever we attend next week and to know that we're covenanting with you to, to be your people. Watch over us and bless us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.